is Puppy's Mommy. I'm making a quick video for a friend with a sick guinea pig because I couldn't find anything good on YouTube. Um, a guinea pig after surgery very often will not want to eat on their own, especially if they're on antibiotics. Uh, their stomach could be upset. You have to force feed them. YouTube is full of cute videos of guinea pigs being fed with syringes but they all want to be fed so in a minute I'm going to show you puppy getting some vitamin C mixed in with this which he gets because uh, he's an older pig now um, he gets that a lot of the time just to keep his weight up and he'll fight when I try to give it to him he doesn't always feel like taking it so you'll see how to feed a, a guinea pig with a syringe when the guinea pig is not so hot on the idea of taking the food there's a way of putting the syringe in the side of the mouth but this is um, it's probably backwards in the webcam but this is Oxbow critical care um, it comes in this thickness which is regular and then fine grind which is easier to suck up into syringes if you have guinea pigs you need this in the house because when they're sick and they stop eating you have to force feed them when a guinea pig stops eating within a few hours its liver starts to do stuff that's really bad for its health their bodies are designed to eat fairly constantly except when they're sleeping so when they feel sick and they don't feel like eating and they're your pet you have to notice it quickly and you have to force feed them that means waking up in the night every two to three hours to feed a sick guinea pig through the night and I have done it many times I did it with one guinea pig so long that I was so sleep deprived I was hallucinating <laughs> but I did keep the guinea pig alive so um, this is how you mix up the critical care. If you don't have critical care, people say that you can do it with pellets. I've never had to do that, but apparently if you just take their um, pellets and soak them in water long enough, they will turn into a mush that you can syringe. But this is critical care. You just mix it with a little bit of water. This is an old syringe I've been using. Um, it's a 1cc syringe with the end cut off so that I can get it into his mouth and squish the food in. Here's a 1cc syringe without the end cut off. So you can see, and this is just a cutting gourd I use for crafts. This is an X-Acto knife. You just move the plunger up a little bit in the syringe, and you take the X-Acto knife. I hope the angle is okay so you can see what I'm doing here. <laughs> and very carefully so you don't cut yourself, you just work the knife down until you've cut the end of the syringe off. And now you can see feel it to make sure it's not sharp. There's usually no sharp edges. If there are, use a nail file to file them down. Now you have a way to feed the animal. You have their mush that you made out of Oxbow Critical Care, or you can add um, pellets soaked in water. The other thing you want to add to this mush for a sick guinea pig is a pinch of powdered vitamin C. Buy human vitamin C tablets at any drugstore. Take a fistful of them, fold them up in a paper towel, hit the paper towel with the hammer several times on a hard surface, open up the paper towel, and you have powdered vitamin C. You take a pinch of it. It's usually pretty equivalent to about 50 to 100 milligrams. Uh, a sick guinea pig should get about 100 milligrams of supplemental vitamin C every day. When they're well, they need about 50 milligrams every day. And this will need more water. Uh, Oxpo stuff slowly sick thickens. It like soaks up the water. Okay, I'm going to um, pause this and go get our patient. Okay, so part two of how to syringe feed a guinea pig when they don't want to be syringe fed. This is our patient, international rodent superstar, Puppy the guinea pig. Look at how handsome he is. He is seven and a half years old and going strong. Now, watch what happens. All these YouTube videos show that animal happily sucking down the syringe when you put it to their mouth, but what you usually have to do with a sick guinea pig is go in the side of the mouth. Let me try and bring him closer so you can see. Hold on. Can you take this in through the side? Because the teeth are in the front. So you slip it in the side and you go pretty far back because their back of their throat is actually way back here. So you make the syringe go way far back. This is where their back teeth are and that's where you squish it out. If you squish it out up close to the lips, they'll just spit it right back out at you. So this is how you syringe feed a guinea pig who doesn't agree with your treatment plan. And I couldn't find that on YouTube, so I'm putting it here for anybody who needs it. Hold on. Try and get a good view. There we go. Try it 
couple more times. Let me move the camera up a little. Isn't he gorgeous? What a specimen. Puppy, the guinea pig, is the love of my life. I'm gonna have to go into a mental institution when his time comes. He's gonna live to 15, right? The, the oldest guinea pig alive right now is 15, by the way, and still going strong in the Guinness Book. Hold on. It's really hard to do in front of the camera from this angle. There. So I'm going in the side because if you go in the front, you hit their incisors. That's what you do with uh, force feeding a guinea pig who doesn't want to be force fed. Um, you can do it with water as well. Uh, a post-op pig or a sick pig who is not eating and drinking on their own must be force fed both nutrients in the form of pellet mush or oxbow critical care and they also need more water than just what you're mixing in with the food and they can get that water either by subcutaneous injections at the vets or if the vet sends you home with the materials if you're comfortable doing that or you have to be syringe feeding it to them but you can't just leave a sick animal alone and hope that they're going to have the good sense to eventually start eating and drinking it does not work that way with guinea pigs they must be force fed Thank you. Puppy says thank you to all his adoring fans. Say hello to the world, my little star.